And welcome everyone to England's North West. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Manchester United facing RB Leipzig. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. The UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93 and there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world. I think the competition at the top, at the end, near the final, etc. is what it is. But the tournament is strong throughout the group stages and then the knockout stages. It's the perfect format for me. This is the team Manchester United will go with. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one will just play advanced of the other one. It's very, very important that the wide players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that lone midfield player in the middle of the park. Enjoy the game. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Peter Guracci is the goalkeeper of choice. Jerome Boateng starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Wang Hee Chan. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Pressure on to clear his lines. They could really get at the opposition. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Played into the center of the box. Well, it has come to nothing. Looks promising this, and it was blocked that particular cross. Match day one in the Champions League, always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn into this particular group, we all thought, my goodness, that's a hard one to predict the outcome of. Oh, wow, well, the so called group of death. It really is a competitive one, this one. Imperative, you get off to a good start. You don't want to be playing catch-up when there's two teams like that ahead of you. Corner kick played in. Not the result from the set-piece they were looking for. What can he do from here? Marcel Halstenberg. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Chance to play it in. Untidy in possession. Well, this is the day, his debut forthcoming, and it's going to be interesting to see what he produces. What do you think we should expect to see from him, Lee? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And then the sheer power of the strike. Really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. The opening 
goal of the game then. Haidara. Camper. Dangerous looking attack. Really good block. A really intense pressure applied. Camper. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Well, as you can see, United haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Chance to do damage. Alexander Surlot. There's a slide rule pass. And danger still. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Joel Linton. Wesley. A real defensive commitment there. Kevin Campbell. Can they take advantage? Cross blocked. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And firing it into the area. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, the goalkeeper has earned his corn there. A fabulous save. It didn't happen for them. Correa. Useful ball to the near post. Danger averted. Well, time just challenged magnificently. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Crossing possibilities, but defensive efficiency there. Well, a chance to take the lead, it really is. The crowd sends a goal. Well, he's made a right hash of delivering that corner. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. It was one... And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Wang Hee Chan. Now the attack fizzled out. Joel Linton. It's a weighted pass. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Alexander Surlot. Wang Hee Chan getting the better of his opponent. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. As eyes for goal! Not an awful lot wrong with that free kick, but just wide. When you set up for a free kick, you have to hit the target. He wasn't far off, but it was a miss. Barcelona have been very busy on the transfer front. The contract situation ironed out, and he could be available very soonly. Well, Derek, he's been a top player all his career. He deserves this move, to be honest, will you? Fill up the pension pot a little. Fully deserved. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for Paris Saint-Germain. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Could take the lead. And the challenge, crisp and clean. And they will make the change now.
Wesley. And they need to get tighter. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, goalkeepers call the post and the crossbar their friends. Not on this occasion. Clips the inside and goes in the back of the net. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. Juan Ki Chan. Leipzig enjoying the bulk of possession here, but they have to create more. They have to be more. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post, it's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Poor pass under no real pressure. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Arsenal. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And a chance to level it. A goal! excitement a back and forth type of game now they're level well another equalizer what a topsy-turvy game this has been Scott McTominay Has credit for winning the ball back. Useful looking ball. The end product just wasn't there. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And a throw in forthcoming. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Determined defending. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Breaking at pace. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, that's a solid save. Really good reactions there. A deft clearance. Long way out, this High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now... They're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And that's it for tonight, full time, and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture. They could really get at the opposite.